is here with Cypher Sounds and Rosenberg on Hot yeah. 97. Yo, so listen, Hove, let me ask you a question. On DOA, you say this might hurt my political connects. And then on other songs on the album, you mentioned Obama called you on the jack. And that's how he got, I mean, you helped him get that presidency, Mr. Barack Obama? I didn't help him. I very humbly did my part. I got on the plane and, you know, did some campaigning in a couple cities, uh, Cincinnati, uh, Miami, and about four other ones. But he asked you to do that, or? Yeah, yeah. He asked you to basically speak to the people on his behalf. Absolutely. Well, did you have an, uh, what, what's the most, do you remember any details from a conversation you've actually had from like, like what words have you actually exchanged with him that are you could talk about? Oh, I'll give you a little short one because it was like a joke. You know, um, He was calling me saying it was the fourth quarter and how we need to end this game Jordan style. He said, oh no, no, <laughs> he actually started, he said, like the Nets, he was like, that's a bad example because they suck. <laughs> <laughs> then he said, we got to end this Jordan style. <laughs> um, and so he was joking. He has a good sense of humor. Right, but like like I, like I always tell you, me and you always talk, like I'm a huge Frank Sinatra fan. And Frank Sinatra helped Kennedy get into office. But then when he got into office, he kind of turned his back on, on Frank. Yeah. Is Obama, like, are you still cool with him? Or once he became pre Mr. You know, Mr. President... He don't holler at you no more. No, no, everything's cool. You know, he didn't. He, he learned from history. <laughs> you had a, you had a, you had a cherry. I don't know if y'all know how that whole thing went too far. Oh yeah, that did. That, that was that was a far. Joke. No, no, that that went. <laughs> yeah. You had a you had a pretty tight seat at the. Uh, weren't you and Diddy like f like front row or very very close at the inauguration? Yeah, we were super super close. Like they were it didn't look like that. <laughs> I'm looking straight up. Crazy <laughs> up top. Yeah, I was there on the lawn. It was crazy. You were there? Yeah, I was there on the lawn though. I I didn't have Jay Z seats, but I did see you on the big screen. They showed him on the jumbotron. Yes, they did with his big furry hat on. I'd already went home because my tickets <laughs> didn't work, so that was a treat. <laughs> so so you're still cool with him. So could you like now that we got you on the show, can we ask Obama to be our guest? Yeah, can be you our help guest. Us with that? I don't do that kind of stuff, but you, you, I guess you can like, ask him. Yeah, we can make a song. Yeah. It only took us a year to get hove. Yeah. So five years and two, three years for Obama? He's going to have to run again soon, right? Three years. Three years is up again. He's you... going to need to talk to, to people. Did you hear the crazy talk that I was talking about earlier about how people are actually like considering his speech today controversial? You know, he's speaking to the kids today. And conservatives are saying, like, it's... It's controversial that he's maybe maybe he'll be trying to push a political agenda. Can we just call it like we see it, man? Can we just say what it is? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's a straight. Ra it's straight. Cra it's racism. It's beyond that. It's, yeah. It's uh, it's, it's. I think it's beyond. That. I don't. I don't think it's straight racism. But they're 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 talking to a racist audience, which is very dangerous. But yeah. they're doing it for, you know, ratings. They're doing it sensationalism, right? It's 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 for this type of attention. But they're speaking to a racist audience, which is dangerous. It's terrifying. Yeah, but yeah. I mean. He's the president of the United States. Like, why would you even question, you know, him talking to kids about staying in school? Stay in school. That's the message. I don't think they really believe that. I think they're just saying it's sensationalism. Oh. Like, well, just to I, get, I, yeah, I would just like to, to know talk. what they, if they had the opportunity to express themselves, what they would say it really is. And, like, what their fear really could be. Like, what is this black man going to do as Excuse our president? Me. That's so it's scary. fear of a black planet. I think you're going to say the black <laughs> crumb. Oh. Fear of the black man parts. That too. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, did, 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 you, did you finish high school? Of course not. You didn't finish high school? No. What high school you went to? I went to Eli Whitney. Then we got kicked out of there. The whole school. <laughs> the whole school? <laughs> the whole school. That's how bad the school was. <laughs> they canceled the school? <laughs> they them and then they opened it the next... This is just this is by a fact of public record. Y'all can look. They closed the school and then opened it up and renamed it to Van Arsdale. A year later. <laughs> so it's like a club. A club gets shut down. Yeah. And they change the name. Yeah. <laughs> Reopen it. And they sent us all to uh, Weston House. Um, so you downtown Brooklyn. You didn't finish high school? No. I don't mean, of course not, but no. Did you get... Unfortunately. Um, did you never got a GED or anything? No. Pretty, you, should, yeah. you should. You need something to fall back on, man. Yeah. You should probably go back and get that. But <laughs> yeah. In case this doesn't work out. So I, obviously you didn't hit any college or anything. Well, unless you go to no, <laughs> you can't do that. You can't. Skip yeah, but how is it? You can't, LeBron. But how is it? How is it that you probably have you probably have hire a students from college to work for you, and they look at you and like, yo, this dude don't even got a diploma. Yeah, 
That's how it's supposed to be, man. That's how they, they say the A students work for the C students. Okay, you or, go. or in Jay Z's case, they're the not students. non students yeah. at all. Right, yeah. exactly. So, how far yeah. did you go? 11th grade? But you know how you get those classes, like you have some 10th, 11th, like, yeah. you know, you don't go, you skip those and you do good in some and the yeah. other ones, you know. Yeah, it was all over the place. But that's because you're a smart dude, so I figure in school you probably did well. It's probably just. Yeah, felt- that, it was the opposite. I'm sorry to cut you off. It, I was bored after the sixth grade. I was mm. reading on the 12th grade level when I was in the sixth grade. After that, it was just. That and the hat. But for me, school was just to articulate what was on my mind. Like when you were down with. um When you were on, what's his name's album? Uh, jazz. How old were you there? High school uh, years? Yeah, I was. I was gone by then damn he was already running around with yeah with running jazz in, that whole running in the money. streets yeah. let's play something off the album you can get the album today it's not coming out Friday it's coming out today Hove is here ladies and gentlemen it's Hot 97 Cypher Sounds of Roseburg this is probably my favorite song off the album Jay Z Kanye West I'm gonna ask you to explain a couple things off this record when we come back sure this, who's hating man Hot 97 Jay Z is here with Cypher Sounds and Rosenberg on Hot 97.